Happy learning! Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 30th uh, series of Principles of uh, Drug Discovery. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about a structure based uh, drug design. Structure based drug design is a powerful approach in pharmaceutical uh, drug discovery that relies on uh, the three dimensional structure of the biological target, usually a protein, uh, to design and optimize new drugs. This technique is also known as uh, structural based rational drug design or computer aided drug design. The key idea behind uh, the structural based uh, drug design is to under understand the interactions between the drug candidate and the target's active site at the atomic level leading to the development of more potent and selectively drugs with fewer adverse effects. The first step in uh, structure based drug discovery is uh, to identify a specific protein or a biomolecule that plays a crucial role in the disease process. The target should be associated with the disease and should have a well-defined role in the biological pathway. Experimental techniques such as uh, X-ray crystallography, NMR spectroscopy or cryo-electron microscopy are used to determine the three-dimensional structure of the target. So, uh, it can be identified by different uh, biochemical assays or cell-based assays or microarray technology. So, with that, uh, the target could be identified and it could be validated. The next is, uh, you can see from this diagram, uh, numerous uh, things are involved in the target identification like uh, bioinformatics, molecular modeling, chem chemoinformatics, which involves pharmacology, molecular biology, genomics, proteomics, and medicinal chemistry, which are useful in target identification. Step two is identification of potential leads. So your lead molecule may be, uh, you may get from natural sources or synthetic sources. So the natural sources uh, includes uh, microbial flora uh, or animals, uh, marine sources or metabolites from the human origin. And synthetic sources uh, may be from biosynthesis, full synthesis, molecular modification, semi-synthesis, stereochemistry or combinatorial uh, synthesis and getting the da leads from the uh, database libraries. Step 3 is molecular docking. Molecular docking involves uh, predicting the binding uh, of a small molecule to a protein or biomolecule by simulating the interactions between them. It can be used to identify the potential compounds that are likely to bind to a target molecule and to optimize their structures and properties. So you can uh, see this. Uh, first you get the target and you bind with a ligand, you get a complex and study the interactions. So first you have to get the target proteins, then you can get the target ligands, then you do a molecular docking, then you study the interactions. Next is molecular dynamics. Molecular dynamics simulations involve using computational techniques to model the movement and interactions of atoms and molecules over time. They can be used to predict the activity and potential binding of a compound to the target molecule and to optimize their structure and properties. So you can see uh, when an atom interacts uh, from a lead or a hit, it interacts with the uh, target uh, proteins it causes numerous interactions which could be studied with molecular dynamics. So it is the interaction of all the atoms put together, it calculates the energy levels and that is called molecular dynamics. Next is lead optimization. You can synthesize uh, the leads and optimize it. Based on the results of molecular modeling or molecular dynamics, uh, research design and synthesize compounds that are likely to interact specifically with the target molecule in a way that it modulates its activity. These compounds are then tested and optimized through iterative rounds of synthesis and testing to improve their activity, specificity and other properties. 
next is uh, so you can see this uh, the next step is uh, step 5 is lead optimization identify the lead molecule for the selected target modify the lead that is optimize the lead to increase its uh, drug likeness so the optimized lead uh, molecule can be taken for further stages of drug discovery then is preclinical testing so preclinical testing involves uh, cell based assays then uh, enzymatic or uh, microarray technologies can be used then preclinical testing in drosophila or zebra fish or uh, rodent models or human uh, primates uh, can be studied the next step, step is uh, clinical trials the optimized lead compounds are then tested in the laboratory settings it may be in vitro or in vivo models to assess their efficacy uh, safety uh, for the potential adverse effects so after this it goes for clinical trials it includes uh, phase 0 trials which is a micro dosing study then uh, phase 1 trials uh, which is in the healthy volunteers then uh, phase 2 trials it is in the patient population first patient population study then phase 3 trials it is a multicentric trial uh, it usually compares with the standard then phase 4 trials it is post marketing surveillance the next is uh, regulatory approval if the drug successfully completes all the clinical trials and demonstrates uh, its uh, safety and efficacy it can be submitted uh, for regulatory approval so it may be investigational new drug application once approved the drug is marketed for commercial use the regulatory authorities uh, include the following us uh, food and drug administration uh, european medical agency uh, medical health and regulatory medicine health uh, regulatory authorities uh, then uh, medical devices agency pharmaceutical medical devices agency cdsco is uh, from india central drug control organization and national Medi medicine and uh, pharmaceuticals association of uh, china so in, um, apart from this there are many uh, drug regulatory authorities which may differ from uh, country to country or region to region so in summary the structure based uh, drug dis discovery or design uh, structure based drug design offers uh, several advantages over the traditional uh, drug discovery approaches as it allows uh, for more targeted and uh, rational selection of drug candidates by directly focusing on the active site of the target protein structure based drug design uh, helps researchers design drugs that that have a higher likelihood of success rate in the clinical trials and can be more specific in action potentially reducing the adverse effects however it's essential to note that uh, structure based drug design is most effective when combined with other drug discovery methods and experimental validations to ensure that the identified drug candidates are effective and safe in real world applications so it's a very short information of uh, structure based uh, drug design i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel if you like this video kindly press the like button Go through all the series of videos in the Principles of Drug Discovery playlist and uh, score well in your uh, forthcoming exams. Thank you.